previously on you. I don't need to love your self-absorbed poetry in order to be kind to you. What is it with people getting to arguments with each other and then they'll say these hurtful things that they actually been thinking and feeling for a while and then they'll just like, you know, make up and stuff. Like you did not just say this thing about me and how you've been feeling for I don't know how long. Like really? Is this an ambush? Will you love me in prison? Hi. <gasps> Oh no. I mean, the fact that you got beat up right here, you can make it seem like it wasn't you. Do you mind taking off your shoes and anything that has touched other people or the subway? So take off all my clothes? All right, cool. I ain't got no problem with that. <laughs> Yo, I got that exact same humidifier, bro. I'm on to you. Hmm? You're the one that warned me. I have a stalker. I'm glad that she's going with that because I was just about to say that myself. If she was to come on to him, you could bring that back up. I'd love some more tea. Do you want some? I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, I, I would never turn down tea. Oh, that's brisk, baby. Who are you looking at like that, girl? I will freaking bust the other side of your head. If you don't sit your ass down, who are you staring at? Blink. Just you and me. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, Just, no, you're not. You did this yeah, on purpose. You was listening on the conversation. Would you mind asking Joseph to leave us? I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. She knows I'm the one that tried to kill her, but she's trying to play it off. I understand. She can't prove it. So what's the point of actually even really trying to go about the whole thing? Paris, two tickets, first class. Golly, this girl's manipulative as hell, bro. It's war. <laughs> All right, I like this little storyline between them two. This is cool, this is getting real interesting. She's going to die sometime. I'm so sorry, Joe. It's okay. I mean, you could have helped me. You just sat there and watched me get my ass whooped. I know things have been a little bumpy here the past few weeks. See, one thing I do know is bumpy is them dry ass lips, girl. I'm going away for a few days to a place in Greenwich, and she said she'd feel safer there. Girl, it don't matter. This is her life. Let her go by herself. You gotta worry about your life. You got school. Like, her priorities is way out of whack. Like, do you even do your work? You only did, like, one project. The suicide attempt was a show. She was never in any real danger. Oh, so she just attacked herself in the park? No, no, not, not, not that part. I'm talking about the pills. Let's not go past that. Connecticut's Gold Coast, land of hedge fund managers and Mayflower descendants. And just like that, the internet gods provide. Only an hour drive. Bro, really? That's crazy. That is so scary, bro. How easy he's finding people's addresses. I'm coming back. I'm. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up with these jump scares, bro? Like, this is not the show. This show is supposed to be about something else, but y'all got these damn jump scares, man. This is the third or fourth time I got scared in this show. So they go karma for you again, man. Candace. Bunny, you okay? I was hoping we would see Candace. Okay. God damn, it's always the deer, man. Why can't y'all just sit your ass still? No, you gotta take the glasses off. Car trouble? No, no, but I, uh... License and registration? I was robbed. Have you had anything to drink this morning? What are you talking I'm just sitting on the side of the road, officer. Can you step out of the car, please? This is extra. Like, you're really gonna pull me over because I'm sitting on the side of the street? You bored out of your mind, man. You gonna tell me what happened to your face? I just told you I got robbed. You don't eat any of this. I just felt like carpe in the DM, you know. It's easy to forget sometimes. You wanna go to the mall? You awfully cheery for somebody who just got knocked the hell out. This place is a castle. Guess that makes me your knight. How did you get up in here? <laughs> I wasn't planning to break in, but if you're gonna leave the back door wide open. Oh, well, they just answered the question, all right, cool. See, you know, I'm the main character, bro. They let me do everything I want. I thought it'd be worse. <sighs> God, Lee, man. I need to patch up, get back in the game. No, I don't want to see this. No. Girl looked like she was 10. This place is adorable. Yeah, she looked like she's a user. <laughs> I had a feeling, bro, like this dude must have passed out or something. Oh my God. The spirit of the 90s is alive and great. Damn it. I knew they was going to be here. Damn, Definitely. I love that coat. I like the claw foot tub. Of course you do, because you're classy. 
I mean, if she actually is in love with her, why doesn't she just tell her? Or maybe she just knows that whatever this girl's name is, is not gay and doesn't have the same feelings and she doesn't want to ruin the relationship. You have to start rubbing yourself. How dare she invade your privacy like that? God, I have to pee. <laughs> you better pee on yourself. <laughs> Why? Why? I would have just pissed on myself, bro. You already know she heard you. Yo, the tension right here is so good. What? If she actually does think it's the stalker, that'll be cool. But I really think she thinks it's Joe. It's the surprise. We got some strippers. Beck, she's not in her right mind and you know it. 80% of gun accidents happen in the home. Okay, her name is Beck. All right, I, I kept thinking Brick for some reason. Raj. Hey, gorgeous. Long time no see. <laughs> oh, so she trying to get a threesome in. Girl, I ain't trying to see you. I'm trying to see the action. Show big forehead itself. Sorry. It's just my brother. All right. Let's do it. Your brother? Really? No, okay. Sad. We've been dating for I don't know how long, and you talking about, oh, it's your brother? All right. And then you turn your phone over? We are moving to Paris, Shadi. No, you can't just Sorry. change somebody's I life don't. like that. I want to write a book about an injured soul, someone on the outside. Isn't that the same thing you write about every time? <sighs> I love that. I know you do. Oh my God. Oh, this is not <laughs> The car. I might be a little crazy right now. No, 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 no. Right, yo, go back to the action, bro. That's dirty though, to drug somebody and basically manipulate them like this. Platonic massage train. I go front. Sure, you about to do a neuro massage? Wow, what a coincidence. They went in the same room because that he's in. Sure, feels like it. Um, do you see now? How can they not see him? How good does that feel? Oh my gosh. This girl recovered quick, bro. Can't you feel what she's doing? What she wants? Nah, man, she is high, 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 high. She damn near in the upper room. Okay, way too far. Platonic massage train. Platonic means friends, just being friendly. I mean, kissing is not platonic. I have a boyfriend. Yes, you do. Oh, well, I don't. Well then, hey, y'all get to work then. I can, I can still watch. Yeah, a little lower. Oh my, I bet Harry never had to do this. Okay, she being extra right now for some reason. This ledge. You're cute. That, that's really the cute emoji? I thought that was like rolling your eyes. I swear it was here, I just used it. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, okay. <laughs> Here he comes, big daddy. Oh, oh she's doing it with him. Oh, okay. God, that's interesting. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew she wasn't gonna be doing it with herself. Okay, that dude, Raj, is a big dude. <laughs> you had to hear all of that. Yo, that girl Peach, she fine as hell. I ain't trying to hear that dude sounds though. Kiss me. Drama out of nothing. That's not what? drama what? out of because nothing. Because you was hurting. basically about to R word her. I know your family. I know how they are. You gotta stop with this goody two shoes BS, bro. I'd die for you, would he? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, he would. Yes, he would. Trust me. You, you, you don't know this man. <laughs> he would die before you would. You just use people. You are a fucking manipulative, toxic bitch. For you to say that when you're doing that, that's crazy. I have to seem available, okay? It's just business business that's dumb as hell bro you broke my heart candace i let you go you're jealous you're paranoid you need help Get man if you don't slap that bitch with that phone joseph oh <laughs> golly what is Sorry, going on ass, right joseph. here man <laughs> damn it scared me again you are my stalker i mean you i've been obsessed with you the first time you i saw you but you know you are a terrible person you are somebody that i would just have as a f buddy because you can't stand to share her with somebody so much better than you but you're trying to take her away though so you're not sharing why are you wearing benji's watch how would that be benji's watch he doesn't have the only watch we got the same watch bro they it's a company they make multiple watches dumbass you should know this it's an impressive collection i make copies if anything happens to me my associate paco to publish all the files and send a link to your entire address book he can let it go we can go back to new york and pretend to be friends 
If you like. No. <laughs> Yo, this show is getting so good right now, man. You can't have her. Stop fighting! <sighs> man, man, that boy dipped off with that concussion. Oh! <laughs> Damn, I was not expecting this man to be getting into this much. God, Lee, girl, then. Oh my God. But <laughs> this girl be freaking taking away my concentration, be distracting me. I didn't think this man would be getting hurt this much. Joseph? This is a trick. Shoot him. He learned this from you with your faking ass. I liked how they showed that with his eyes. I wanted Mother. to see what happened, bro. But I guess they wanted to question who actually got shot. But we know who got shot. Dang, what happened to Raj? Someone comes along who will make you believe in love. Know that I, I love, love you all. all. We all knew that was gonna happen. Cars registered to an Ivan Mooney, address in Manhattan. So now he's about to be on my ass. Come on, bro. I mean, they're not really gonna go through the jar though to get evidence out of that, you well, know, get DNA. So like, that would be like real strange. I wouldn't even really think to look at any of that type of stuff. I kicked Ron out. And I see your he lips ain't like dry no more. Kidney's a real father figure in his life and that's some drunken asshole, you know? You look like an entirely different person. You look so much better now. I just hope you wiped off your prints on the gun. We'll find you're better off without her. Suck her toes. <laughs> Can't you stay? Yeah, of course. Why would you want to leave? She wants you to stay. You just stop talking. It's okay to sit there in silence, man. That's crazy. This show is like fire, bro. It really is good. The thing I gotta say about this is like, who do you actually root for though? Yo, let's go ahead and get into episode seven. Couldn't keep our hands off each other. Couldn't keep. Oh, off see, each other. Yeah, you, you can't do that with me, bro. You can't be kissing and sucking on my ear, that bro. That's that's my weak spot right there, bro. Shoot, I'll forget what the hell I'm doing, man. Put you up against that wall. That month after the funeral was it was intimate. Just made us more. Who the hell are you talking to? But then over the next few weeks, something happened. Yeah, I fell off cloud nine. Falafel. Couldn't tell you the exact moment things went wrong between us. Well, you know, I don't know y'all so, relationship, but I feel like if you would have did like a reach around like this instead of going like this, you probably could have got something. It's over. I want to know why. Already? Well, you know, she's been going through a lot. And yeah, it's the dude from Full House. She, that face he made, he smiled like you. I know why, because I'm piping it. Everything ship. A word. A noun. A meeting of the minds, bodies, and souls. This dude just, he comes off like too good to be true, man. Like, I understand we know how weird he is and all that, but just like the way he talks, like all the stuff that he does with her, it just is like, it's a little much. It was an everything shit. I mean, well, this is cool. I like this. I may have gotten fired from the yoga studio. The what? Apparently, I fell asleep leading the Shavasana. This girl is just so irresponsible, man. I can find another job. I can. Can you? You don't be doing any work. So. Man, it's perfect. Bro, do not have her work there, man. She gonna be lazy. She ain't gonna be doing nothing. She gonna be feeling too comfortable there. She gonna be expecting you to do all the work and just be paying her. I swear, this makes me such a better listener. The hell type of therapist is this? Hey, at least he tried to share it with you. But that's smart. You don't ever want to take some random person's weed, man. You don't know what the heck they be having in there. People be doing extra stuff nowadays. I'm test driving veganism now, and I'm just feeling a little faint. You can't be going far left like that, bro. You need to start with being a vegetarian first. Someone needs a burger. Or somewhere to put his meat. Oh. Okay, that uh, hey, that's just, she right. She right though. Shoot, that boy hasn't put something in the oven in a minute, it seemed like. I wonder what that girl Fiona is doing. Why is she holding up on him like that? You haven't mentioned her since the funeral. It's been over a month. You gotta give her time to yeah, grieve, yeah. man. A month is like therapy. really okay. quick. Therapy? After Peach, I thought it was worth it to go. That's why this dude is in the therapy. <laughs> this dude is going to the same therapist that she's going to. I mean, I can understand. It's John Stamos. You feel me? That that is a that's some competition right there. Okay, she's always late. She leaves the register. 
register open. She doesn't know how to organize by genre. Yeah, you better listen oh, to him, man. You should not have had her work with you in the first place. I understand you yeah, want her to be what? close to you at all shit. times, but come on, bro. This is not good for your business. I don't even think he cared about his business. He just want her. I'm looking for a Mr. Ivan Mooney. Calling about a Buick register to your name? Yeah, I gave that car to my nephew, Spencer. Is he in trouble? No. Have a nice day. I was too close. You're gonna have to kill him, bro. He's gonna be on your butt for the whole rest of the season. Or I don't know if he's gonna be here next season too, but. The hours were flexible and that I'd have time to write. I did, but you, uh, you haven't been writing. Bitch, if you don't get your lazy ass up and get to work, are you serious? I've been having really vivid dreams about Peach. Look, if you feel like you're not capable to work, I can let you go. You know, you can have your free time at home. The only good thing in my life right now is therapy. Man, she know what she's doing, bro. I do not like this girl, man. She is so lazy. My uh, neighbor's alcoholic boyfriend literally has to be chased away with a baseball bat. So yeah, don't mess with a sister like that, bro. Do I know you? Heck yeah, I'm your next no. man. You don't know me at all? No. Then what are you staring at? That ass, girl, you got cake. I knew they were gonna have like a dinner down there, man. I think there might be a time that they're gonna be doing it down there. It always made me sad with Peach. You're talking about Peach. It's good. See, when it's weird that you brought it up, you should have just had a natural conversation with her. And then after the conversation, been like, oh, you know, it's cool that you finally talked about Peach. Or maybe just kept it to yourself. My birthday. Oh, hi, Luke. I think I'd rather keep it low key and small. No to small, no to low key. Bex is Sagittarius. She craves attention. That's a damn lie. No, we don't. Are you serious? Every year she wants to keep it simple. What's Whatever up with her eye? Looks like stated. she got pink eye or something. Really Can you get your infected ass off my desk, please? Well, make it a surprise party. Girl, it's her mm -hmm. birthday, not me. your birthday. The thing you're trying to make this whole day about you and the friendship. I'd rather do what she asked me to do. She wanted something small. When I realized he was cheating on me with his therapist. <clears throat> he might be misunderstanding what's going on right now. I think he's just making assumptions. Damn, this girl fine. What's all this? Shoot, this, this is for you. It's a surprise party. Kind of a literary scene. I'm going as Ernest Hemingway. The old man in the sea, the sun also. I know who Hemingway is. Why you gotta be so hostile, bro? Girl, you don't be sending me mixed signals, you feel me? Mr. Darcy, I take it? Says Elizabeth Bennett. Oh, God, no, Dorothea Brooke. Middle March. You know, I'm happy you're getting him some action. That's what's up. This is Constantine. He lives in Bushwick. Really? Dude, looks like that uh, writer got his name. It looks like Mark Twain. <laughs> oh! Oh, I can see it now with that damn nose. I've tried to be the perfect boyfriend. I've bent over backwards. Golly, I bro. Sometimes she be looking fine as hell herself. Like, where is she right now? It's rude, but it's Beck. Joe, and can I speak to you for a sec? Who the hell are you mad at? Where were you? My therapy session. Do Nikki and I were really making some headway. Oh, uh, uh, for real? She is like therapy telling herself the therapy She's went so long. Wow, so you're telling me the dude's long? All right. And then y'all say y'all did some headways. All right. So both of y'all did 69. All right. Hey, Beck, we made dinner plans. Well, I, I just, I lost track of time. I bet. When you're doing 69, man, that goes by fast. Having so much fun. She... Show me your phone. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you should have went there. But if you do this, it means there is absolutely no trust between us. Oh, she gaslighting. She She's gaslighting. Just... That's messed up, bro. But I mean, this dude's weird anyway, so. You see what happens when you stop following her? See, when you was on top of her, things were going right. But when you start slacking, things start falling off. I'm not one of those shrinks that are obsessed with the past, but I think in this case, we should take a look. Hell yeah, I, I want to know the past too. Robert. I brought you a donut. And it's still not Krispy Kremes. Get the f out my house. Pizza. Too saucy. Thai. We had Thai for lunch. Then what do you want? Why do I always have to pick? I mean, you just want to satisfy you. That's all it is. Make sure you're good. I don't want to pick something that you don't want and then all of a sudden you aren't satisfied and upset. Mm. Awful. So you're just gonna turn your yeah, phone so over? Like I still can't hear the notifications? Continue. What would you do in that situation? Would you question it or would you just let it go by and not say anything about it? I would've knew she was lying when she said she was off to class. Like, come on, we both know you don't do no damn work. But I'm good at catching bad people red-handed. Shoot, well, you're not good at that time. You lost her. How did you lose her? 
Oh, I knew she knew. Because the way she looked exactly at him, I knew it. How the hell did she get over there so fast, though? No, I was in the neighborhood. God, stop lying. You can't be talking, bro. This is crazy. Who's the fox? My friend, Emma Fox from <sighs> Brown. Okay. Just don't. Joe, I told you, you and I were over. Just like that? This is some bullshit. That's how you already know there's something going on. This dude rusty, man. He haven't been stalking anybody in so long. This dude get caught. Damn, bro. That's why you shouldn't have been slacking. I think there's two of you. One has been hurt in the past, feel betrayed and hopeless. But the other one has faith. He believes true love exists. Damn, bro. That dude is speaking to me right now. I should be down to seeing you again if you'd like. I don't think so. Yeah, for these prices? Hell no, I ain't coming back. Pays your ass $600 for 50 minutes? I would at least wait until I caught them in the act. You don't want to just kill an innocent person from suspicions. I don't think he's going to kill him. I think he's going to get into his room. But I need absolute proof first. Exactly. Smart. And these days, the quickest way to a man's truth is through his computer. I already knew he was going to do that when he was taking forever to freaking walk up to him. I was like, yeah, he's going to try to get into his room. I pretend I'm Joe. What would you say to him right now? I haven't dealt with that went on with me and Peach or my dad or Benji. And instead of putting it into my writing, I'm hibernating with you and I resent you for it. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Why are you mad at him? It's not like he's telling you not to write. He's pushing you to write, but you're too lazy. You don't want to do the work. But he's he's weird. <laughs> I, I can't I can't side with this dude, bro. I understand he's the main character. He's weird though. He does not need to be with her in the first place. My girlfriend dumped me. So if you don't mind. Oh, for real? That's what we doing? Ooh. That's all she needed to hear? Oh, for real? Oh, you been wanting me like that? Hell yeah. Oh, this is the best rebound ever. I knew he was going to be getting some, bro. They was giving her a little bit too much screen time. I love you, Joe. What? This this got to be in his mind. <laughs> Your face. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get up out of my house, please. So he kind of upset. He was hoping that she really meant it. You just gonna use my shower without even asking? Are you gonna leave Beck alone? Oh, Are you gonna leave me alone? Yeah, this dude killed her. I wonder how bad this girl cheated on you for you to kill her. Cause like, that's messed up, bro. That's going way too far, dude. Yeah, this episode, it was pretty cool. I'm really sick and tired of this girl back. She is just straight annoying, bro. And it's going to be crazy because I already know there's going to be people in the comments that are going to be freaking trying to defend her and stuff. Like, this girl is lazy. She does no work. She's not responsible. None of this. And she, like, thinks everybody else is the problem except for her. Like, how are you going to be upset at me that you're at? is not writing but all right y'all let's go ahead and get to episode eight man let's get it previously on you stay away from paco because if you don't i'm gonna grab a steak knife and cut those free guys out well over yo i know damn well we ain't breaking up now that i'm thinking about it, this dude killed two people to be with this girl we're not breaking up your essay about peach went viral you got a book deal good for you okay she's finally writing great bro you checking her on google <laughs> for the most part uh, yeah, I don't know about that laugh. <laughs> Surrender thy phone. My phone, Blythe. You're not JK Rowling. We'll all be fine if you take a time out. <laughs> not my router. What about research? <gasps> what you gonna be researching? Some stuff on Netflix? Don't procrastinate yourself. I was just curious if he was still with... Is it Karen? Hey, how do you know that I'm dating somebody? How long has this been? Yeah. So that's what's up. She thinking about me. I like that. She know that I got me another girl. Moved on quick. Feel me? And she better than you. Karen doesn't expose me to toxic people like Benji or Peach. Fine, so I, I still do need to know if you're okay. What the hell? No, 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 no. We're moving in together. Ethan just asked me just right now. Dang, y'all only been you know dating for like, what, a month or something? Goodbye, love. 
I'm happy for you. That, that's that's what's up. Well, good luck finding a place. The market's right now. Okay, I'm not worried. <laughs> you know. I like this dude, bro. I just love his energy, man. I'd probably go to New Zealand to see Mordor. Sure, I would love to go there too. I would see the Shire. I'm telling you, it was like 12, 11, 10. <laughs> Are, are you on drugs right now? You should put something in your stomach, you know? Something else? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I don't think it was right to call her out in front of her son like that, but I was hoping she was not going to get back on that mess. You were so caught up in you. You never thought to take care of me. Do you want to take a walk to Froyo truck or something? Yeah, I love this girl, bro. You over here being innovative, like want to do some stuff? Like Instead of just sitting in the house wanting to write? I was hoping this would happen. Just walk right past her. Don't say shit. Joe. Just act like you didn't even see her. Right, this is your hood. Oh, I would have been like, who are you? And then would have just walked right past her. I'm like, who the hell was that bitch? Walk safe. Back. You too. Hi, Karen. What the hell? That was awkward. We could see right through your BS. I hate when this <laughs> happens. I do not like this girl, bro. You the one who wanted to break up with him. Now y'all broken up and you feel some type of way. You want him back. You really thought somebody else wouldn't want me? I should delete you. Okay. I'm with Karen, and you're right, she is nice. <laughs> I should ignore you. I will. Why does she um, even have my number? Yeah. <laughs> this girl is weird. Damn it. Are you trying to convince me about it or you? It's innocent. I, I bumped into him. I could tell that he missed me, so I. <laughs> okay. Sure. He can see past your bullshit, bro. This girl. Like I said, Karen does not deserve this. This is a good woman right here. I haven't opened it up yet. Have you? Oh my God. He's with the my wrong God. Uh, it's crazy that there are people like this, man. They just can't stand to see their ex happy. They want their ex, but at the same time, they don't. The only people that know a relationship to the core are the people that are in that relationship. Yes, yes, well, I, I agree with that. That's why I don't listen to anybody. Sh you live your own life, man. Don't listen to other people's BS. Like there's so many people on social media telling you how you supposed to live your life and relationship. Like, no, that might work for you, but this works for me. Like, come on now, everybody's different. Think of your relationship as a house. And there's a mouse in that house. I'm the mouse? Well, I'm not one of those people who would ever kill a mouse. Forget about the mouse. Mouse is a pest. It's crazy how I show you just how much bullshit is in this dude's therapy, man. This dude is doing the same stuff with them. Like, everybody's different. I don't know if you should be doing the same techniques with, like, two different people. I get roped into a, quote, moving party, end quote. Hey! Oh, no. Sorry, I'm late. You're kidding me. Let me help you with that. <laughs> Okay. You should already knew she was going to be coming, bro. You can't be talking to her friends. Yes, you smell good. Your uh, heat, your sweat, but Karen brings out the best in me. Man, what would y'all do in this situation? Like, this is crazy. I, I really don't like this, man. This is why the world is so messed up now, because of situations like this. Hey, I am just looking out for my friend, babe. I don't like the mind games, bro. That would have had me really feel some type of way. Should we take her to a hospital? Joe, she could lose Paco. Addiction is a monster. It doesn't care if you're a good nurse, a good mother. Damn, this girl Karen is a good woman, bro. She's just a good person in general. These people do not deserve her. Mooney would kill me for this. Benji already destroyed 10 grand in inventory in here. Damn, where is Mooney? I don't know. Like Benji, freaked out. <laughs> Benji's body, the smell. I did that. I'm not a killer. No one else is dying in here. I'm not a killer. This man having an anxiety attack right now. Yeah, like, come on, dude. You need to chill out. This girl is not gonna die. I thought I was sleeping there. Nah, you get to bed. Shoot, I know I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you never have your stink self all up in my bed. And why would you have that little kid lay in that bed when you got all them damn dried up juices on them sheets? I'm looking for Claudia. Well, she's not here. But you know where she is. How the hell does he know? Oh, he doesn't. He's testing me. She she told me that you two broke up. Man, you already know that dude was piping her down good. She ain't gonna let that dude go away. They just ain't living together. I can't wait for this dude to die. Not quite self-defense. No one would believe he was robbing the place. Why the hell do you have a gun in a bookstore? You really think people are gonna be robbing a bookstore? Boy, he got a strap for them books. I've been in lockdown torturing myself, trying so hard. I was starting to spin out, you know? Karen is good. I need to be good for Karen. 
let's give it a shot. What do you think I'm thinking right now? This dude keeps saying that he needs to be good, but then doing the opposite. I'm like, you keep freaking flirting with this girl. Don't move closer. I think you're thinking what I'm thinking. That I want some tacos right now? What is this? Y'all gonna do it right here in front of me? Hey, yo! No, she doesn't deserve it. How did you get your dick through the pants? I just been violated. What in the world? Man, I'm gonna tell on you, bro. That girl Karen's a good woman, bro. I can't believe you actually cheated on this girl, man. Never again. Ever. Never. Oh my okay. God. I really thought they were not gonna be doing it again. Never again. Again. Oh, shit. I think the fact that he said that we were never ever gonna do it again made her go like, okay, bet. And then they just started going at it. You've no idea what's better. She's my mom. She just has to deal with some stuff. She always says goodbye. Yeah, she's saying goodbye. She's saying goodbye to them drugs right hey, now. Mom. <laughs> I don't know if he's ever seen her like this, but I think it's good for her to have him see her like this. You have to get better. I swore I wasn't gonna get sick again, and then I did. Okay, so he already seen her before. It's okay. It's just a lot to put on a kid. This will make both of them better people, hopefully. And you are so good for me. I am no good for you. I am a mess. Girl, you are beyond a mess. I hope this is the end between their relationship. I do not want to see this girl again. It's over. You're dumping me. There's never a good time. Do not for talk this. for a minute, please. I mean, you know, she was only here for a guest star. You know, she ain't gonna be here for the you know, rest of the show. I don't think so. Dang, she get over this dude quick. <laughs> All right. She said, I ain't even stunting it, bro. Not stupid, okay? I knew something was off. She can find somebody quick, man. She a good woman. That's it. I don't even know why you would end it, bro. Do not break her window. No, I'm sorry. I, I, meant, to, I meant to tap it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, what the uh, hell? Uh, Even if it's messy, you make it work because you know you belong together. And I know we belong together. I guess, man. Get up here, but take the stairs. Yeah, and make sure you pay for my window to get fixed. The hell? This ain't no rom-com. See, like I, like I said, that girl, I, I keep wanting to say brick. But this girl Beck, man, she, she got some cake. I was surprised. I heard you helped. Thank you. Golly, it's like we help you with one thing and you just f up again. What was the whole point of this? You lied to me. What? I didn't lie. You said things would get better. You said I had you and Karen. You do. Why does she leave? She's switching jobs. Uh, no, she's mad at me. So she's so she's leaving, so she don't have to see me anymore. You say you want to help, but you can't. Can you, Joe? Who the hell you think you're talking to, little Everything boy? Get off them damn steps, bro. Freaking slap you like your stepdad. You serious? Thank Why you are you mad at me? Because your mom a dumbass. <laughs> she's a screw up. Want to make every bad decision in the book. I got a feeling you know Candace. Whoever this girl is, she still got her claws in him. What he did to me, one of these days, he's going to do to you. Maybe. He'll do whatever the hell he did to Candace. Uh, that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. I'm thinking he's gonna kill this girl. Damn, Karen is so fine, bro. <laughs> now she just ruined their relationship again, bro. Like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be upset that we're not gonna be able to see Karen again. She was a cool character. Let's go ahead and get into episode nine now, y'all. Hold on, hold on, girl. When the hell you, did you start turning into a ninja? This is the second time this girl's been moving around and I'm like, how the hell did you get back here? <laughs> oh, this is Candace. Cause I was about to say, if this is girl Beck, man, this is weird. Yes. <laughs> Damn, and that's the dude she cheated on you with? You killed him too? Yes. Oh, I know damn well she heard that. Thank God you had that third glass of Pinot. And that plot armor is crazy. Now she playing with him. I already know she heard him. That dude screamed loud as hell. Oh, 
Besides Karen, you've only told me about one. What's her name? You know her name because you heard me calling it last night. Oh, Candace, right? You could do a better job of trying to interrogate me about Candace, you know? Oh, just meet with me and hear me out. Apparently, the doc's got lady problems of his own. Everybody has relationship problems, bro. Nobody can stay away from it. Even people whose relationship seems like they're perfect, they still got some stuff going on, man. Well, in your dream, you, you say you're trying to reach him. Well, you can't because you, you put yourself in a cage. Oh, this is smart. So he don't put the two and two together. For him to make him think that he's gay, that's smart. I'm hungry. Does all this girl wear is sundresses like this? Like she's freaking 14? Girl look like a doll, man. How long was you stalking this girl? I mean, honestly, she hasn't posted in a year. This account's not even active. Bro, I just, I just like, be loving how her hair be looking. She always does something good with her hair. Is that the guy? What does he think? One of us killed her? Who is that guy? Yeah, who is he? Peach's family hired him to look into her death. Okay, so he's probably gonna die if he finds out what's up. I saw you two were friends on Facebook. That doesn't mean I really know them. I mean, those are freaking fake accounts, to be honest with you. <laughs> Joe doesn't seem to want to talk about her. He was really messed up when it ended, and he even disappeared for like a week. But then he met you, and you brought back the light. Just let it go. You can't tell anybody that. That just makes them even more curious. And they're gonna wanna go ahead and investigate more. I thought we said no gifts. Did we? I like that top. Bunny. Oh, my favorite. And the fact that he still has it, I really think this dude killed her. I heard about you and Candace. I mean, seriously, I heard some kind of crazy stuff. I don't remember her saying all that. You were with Joe Goldberg the night we met, right? Yes. God, I was wasted that night. Really? You seemed like you was, like, real calm and collected. Seemed like you was just pedestrian, bro. Just casual. She cheated on him with the guy who signed her to her label. Suddenly, she was off to Italy. And she ghosted everyone she knew. Well, she really only has her brother. He thinks Candace is dead. And she is. I've officially signed with Plum Chapel. What the hell type Girl, of name is that? So I guess he pushed him off the building. Do you, do you, do you like pushing girls around? You talking about she was doing this. Honest to God, man, I, she never even mentioned you. I, I believe that. She's been on me from the second we met. I'm sorry to have to tell you that, but you know, you gotta know what you're with. You should already knew, man. Just look at how she dressed. Just look at her face. Bitches are gonna be bitches, right? The hell are you gonna do? Uh, he's gonna kill you because you just talking reckless right now, bro. <laughs> I can't uh, be doing that. Shoot, I probably would have been throwing them hands too. Oh, and he's doing drugs right now, so that's great. And then that's when they'll be like, oh, okay, he was doing drugs and he lost his balance because of the drugs. Yeah, come on, bro. Let's do it. Yo. <laughs> really? Goodbye. Man, I want to see what happened to her, bro. Hashtag twins. That's so messed up. This dude just lost his sister and lost his mind. Cause you know, he basically lost his heart. Feels so bad for him. This girl is snooping a little bit too much, man. Cause I'm telling you, if this girl finds out the truth, you gotta snap that neck. <laughs> Can't let her live. I should be his emergency contact. But your brother passed away six months ago. How? This dude cutting all the loose ends, bro. I had a feeling that he probably sure, killed him. Jimmy oh, yeah. too. Or maybe Jimmy just died from just all the grief, man. And just that stress and stuff. What happened with Candace? Because there's no evidence that she was in Italy at all. How do you know? Did you go to Italy? Who moves to Italy and doesn't post any pictures? What are you talking about? I mean, not everybody's like you, girl. Not everybody posts corny pictures and put a corny description under it. And the guy she was screwing, he fell off a building. Yeah, he was doing drugs. Jimmy was convinced that I was a Russian spy. The way he's talking right here, she should already know. This dude's crazy. Having him committed was the single most responsible thing Candace ever did. He hated her for it, and he blamed me. You probably did have that dude committed. Pretty much like how you took away Peach. You wanted to take away her brother so you could have Candace all to yourself. She changed her name. How did you do this? I think that's why he chose Italy because they probably went to Italy together before and he already had those leftover pictures or she might have already went to Italy and told him about the trip and showed him the pictures so he had the pictures on hand. So he made this whole fake account, bro. <laughs> this is straight crazy, bro. If you believe that I'm capable of something like no, that. No, that's the thing, I don't. I know in my heart that is not you. 
Girl, you about to die. Bitch, run. <laughs> All right, your clothes. T take them off. Give them to me. Okay. So long as you tell no one, you are fine. His life is over, not yours. Some people deserve to die. I can see where you got it from. This is Becky. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Mooney. Okay. All right, that's what's up. I was wondering what happened with Mooney. I still make it up at least, what, once a week? It never gets any easier seeing him like this. That dude like, bro. Stop fucking lying, bro. I haven't seen your ass since you killed that man. He took me in. I was trying to win her back, or I was too busy feeling sorry for myself. I hadn't been able to visit in a while. When I found him, he'd been lying there for two days. <laughs> that dude looked at him like, bitch, you lying. You lying, bitch. Hey, this dude got a good alibi, man. Emma? She's thinking about moving to New York and hasn't really had questions. You don't have a friend, Emma, from Brown. But you're not Candace. The alarm is going off at the store. Well, I could come with you. Nah, that's cool. Why don't you go back up Emma? You feel me? Or let Emma back you up. I'll talk to you ass later, ho. Get up from the fence! Don't move! What are you? Come on, bro. He's probably not even messing with her. For months, he tasted you. He was inside you. Oh, damn, bro. I was hoping that they didn't do anything. So she did cheat on him. Isn't that against the law, though? You, you can't have a relationship with your client. Are you, or were you ever, fucking your therapist? The acting right there is kind of... Answer me. Answer me! Okay, I like the acting right there. You can see, like, he looks like a little kid right here. He's, like, so torn, bro, because he never had a good upbringing. You dissect my life. You paint me out to be this monster, this, this someone, someone who could hurt people. But who? is the monster here. I mean, aren't you about to kill her though? <laughs> I like what they're doing right here with the directing and the editing. It seems like we're in his mind, you know? It's like real messed up right now. I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. Shut up with that bullshit. Then you wouldn't have cheated on me, bitch. I didn't know what to do with that because I didn't think that I could have it or keep it. What? That makes no sense. What excuse is this? <laughs> Hey, stranger. Tell him sorry I had it so long. I forgot it was still on the ceiling above the toilet. He said it was a good place to hide things. Golly, kid. Freaking snitching on me. <laughs> I, I knew this was gonna happen though. I was just waiting on when it was gonna happen. They better break up again and uh, gonna be a whole bunch of drama on, I guess, him trying to get her back or something. Maybe he's gonna kill her or something. So dropped it in the subway. <laughs> Why would he keep the phone like you broke it? Throw it away. What is that? Oh. Is that a tampon? Yeah. Hey, I'm on my way, bro. Uh -huh. Who said anything about Joe? Why are you keeping people's phones? <laughs> Please don't let that be teeth. This dude is straight up weird. What the fuck? Why do you have teeth? I love the music they get playing right here, man. The tension is crazy. Beck, sit down. Sit down. Let me take care of you. <laughs> Yo, this is so cool right here. I love this. Seeing her perspective, knowing that she is with a serial killer. Really freaking out. Something. <laughs> nah, you gotta kill her, bro. Where do you think you're going? I don't care about what happened between you and Elijah. And if you love me. We can get past this. I, I know I know you do. I can see it in no, your eyes. No, just let me go. No, no, that girl's an opportunist, man. She only want to be with somebody that's going to benefit her. You don't You're crazy. What are you going to do about it, Joe? I'm about to show you crazy. Hmm? Hold on, okay, let me let me say this. Is each season going to be about a different girl and then in the end, he kills the girl? Cause it's just always the same stuff. Joe! 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 What a way to end an episode. This right here was probably the best episode so far, man. Damn, I love this. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get into episode 10, man. I don't even wanna wait. Get in, and you'll stay in. This dude Mooney was abusive. Like I said, man, I wonder he was so crazy, bro. This dude upbringing was just weird. It was straight messed up. Yo! Girl, it doesn't work. I don't know why you keep trying. Sit your ass down. I'm here. One of the things that I haven't really noticed is it seems like this dude barely blinks. Because we're talking, we're getting it out of the open. You hit 
me. What do you expect? You found out my secret. How long are you going to keep me in here? Oh, well, honestly, I haven't thought that far ahead. I, 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 <laughs> everything I have done, I have done for you. Even this? Even this. I mean, shoot, yeah, I could I, I could have just killed you. <laughs> like, <laughs> what would you like? To be with me or to be dead? Yeah, you know, that's, that's the only options you got right now. Tell me you didn't kill Peach. If you know what I know. <gasps> This dude got some real psychotic eyes, man. Jack, that's right. You have no idea. You better hope this girl gets Stockholm Syndrome. That could have gone worse. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was pretty good. Now I need to protect us from the world. Oh, that looked like Mia Khalifa right there. <laughs> that definitely seems like something she would say, you know, it's corny. That's my neighbor, Claudia. Yeah. Why is he not in the back of your cruiser? The victim insisted it was an accident. Golly, bro, why'd you beat her up so bad? Like, I don't understand why people are like this. So we both knew Benji was a d right? He was a murderer. <laughs> Peach, she needed to own you, to trap you, to make you her pet. And what happened once she was gone? You blossomed, you were published. He's doing a good job helping his argument, yeah, because he is telling the truth. Benji's. I had to burn his body. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, that's not no, that's not true. No, you, no, you have it. You don't understand. I this right here is probably the best performance that she has done throughout the whole season. I really don't even know what to think right here, bro. This is just straight. This is horrible. Good morning. Yeah, you gotta make sure she don't escape. I will say this dude is like perfect casting for this character because it's just like his voice and his eyes. This place could be your salvation, surrounded by the greatest works of humanity. With no choice but to absorb the wisdom. Typewriter, paper, no distractions. It's the low-tech writer's retreat you always want. <laughs> I just wish she would have actually took therapy seriously and got real help. And I wonder if this dude Mooney has killed some people. I got this punk trying to steal oh, the oh, gun oh, from oh, the register. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll, it's not loaded. Oh, it's loaded. I'll handle it. The second you use it on Ron, your life is over. Why put it in a drawer that he know he can get into? I'm sorry. Man, apologize he needs to hear this you just negated everything that you just told him what's gonna stop him from getting a knife or maybe she's just trying to dodge that pi because she doesn't feel like talking about peach pi <laughs> or maybe you know she's just locked in a cage you know am i right <laughs> just just joshing you you haven't started writing i'm still waiting for that surge of inspiration this isn't no inspiration you could write a horror story or something you got your girlfriend locked up in a cage yeah you better call yourself my girlfriend still i'll go right in that cage you know? can i just use the bathroom no Please. nope this is dehumanizing not really you're still using the bathroom just because you're not flushing like come on now what do you think they be doing in the woods huh and they actually be using leaves some of them don't even be whopping their ass they just be walking around with dookie crumbs in between their cheeks and got doo-doo butter and stuff thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you come on bro don't fall for it she's trying to manipulate you right here i'm so stupid <laughs> This. You haven't been seeing anything right. Maybe you should be writing. Are you gonna go jerk off to my panties? Or do you need to cut someone out before you can get hurt? I mean, it's not like I killed somebody every single time before we had sex. And what's wrong with me jerking off to your panties like you're my girlfriend? You sent me like nudes and stuff. Now it's a problem? Girl, if you don't write. You used to wrap yourself in fairy tales like a blanket. By the schoolyard, real princesses floated by you on fall winds and vowed to stop believing in fairy tales. Man, this girl ugly as hell and she's trying to talk down to me? If you don't get your Wallace and Gromit ass on somewhere. The sneer on Stevie Smith's face when he called you a fat cow. Man, look at these two ugly Just people. And squeezing your ass in the Thanksgiving kitchen. Yeah, yeah, he looks like that type of person. When you told him what happened. And did he do anything about it? Nope. I mean, you know, the way you grow up really impacts how you think and how you live your life, man. So all that stuff that she went through, I could kind of understand why she's the person she is. Prince Charming and Bluebeard by the same man. Didn't you ask for it? So say you can live like this. What if you can't love him back? I mean, you could die. Yeah. Aerobics will be out of the question. Worms will have a new and sudden attraction to you. That might have been some of the best writing that she's done so far. She's just been dealing with toxic guys her whole life. And I was hoping that Paco went to find you. So you, you have no idea where your son is? 
this man, look at me, man. I can barely talk. I can't even turn my head. I stand up to him. I lose my boy. That's dirty, man. They don't write books about women like me. Yes, they do. All the time. Shoot, and Tyler Perry makes so many movies about him. Joe Goldberg. You been to her house in Greenwich? That's where she died, right? No, no, I found an item. We're testing it for DNA now. How would they even think of that though? Like, I mean, well, your piss would have been on the floor though and they would have found that. So that's one of the things I don't, I don't believe because it looked like it was just a regular jar. So why would they think to, oh, let's check this for DNA evidence. I've been stupid to be mad. And you're trying to help me do better. But sometimes we do difficult things out of caring for someone. This dude doing the same thing Mooney did to him. And he's spilling out the same bullshit that Mooney spilled to him. Hey, I'm sorry that I uh, that I went a little crazy. I mean, you was trying to trick me so you can escape. That's what you need to be apologizing for. I'll go down for something I did for you. And you'd love that, right? I mean, that's, that's what you think of me. It makes a hell of a story. Your story will be all over the news. And she writes a story about that. She'll be famous. She'll be rich. So you did something else for her. If you go to jail, the kid is screwed right you think that's what i want and i think about what happens to people who don't have anyone thing is i see past all her oh, okay. bs but she she's making some good points right here hey let me in she wanna... <laughs> oh that's a good hit kid because if that dude was still up he would have killed you hit him again peace <laughs> what was that for hit him again Oh, uh, pulled up just at the right time. So now we can go ahead and kill him. Paco's probably gonna see me kill him. He's gonna keep it on the low because uh, he's gonna be happy that I finally did something. You're dead. Hey. Ah. Oh, shoot. What? Yo, I thought he was gonna hit him upside the head with a bat. What the hell? Hey, well, at least he's trying to, you know, kill people in different ways. Hey, girl, you all right? You need to sleep. It's the story of everything that happened. My therapist, he was obsessive. There's this part where I talk about a box of mementos that I found. But the thing is, he has a family, so he can have an alibi. And he's a therapist, so he probably was having a client at that time. So the only way that y'all could get away with this is with some extreme luck. But I love what she did right here, though. This was cool. Come on. Like, what could you possibly do in this moment, man? I just... I wouldn't have folded because I would have already seen her BS. Oh, snap, okay. All right, cool. That, I didn't think she was gonna lock him in there. I didn't ask you to swoop in for me. Oh my God, bro, I hate that. I hate when people say that stuff. I didn't ask you to do that. All right, cool, fine. I'll keep you having a shitty life, bro. So you can complain and blame everybody else and be like, well, what's going on? Why is everything happening to me? Like, why, why I can't catch a break? I think that this was all just an excuse to justify creeping into girls' lives. Girl, if you don't leave, you're doing the most. You're feeling yourself. Oh. You are not special. You're broken. I am special. I'm the main character, bitch. You ain't special. Dang, I was just about to call Paco and be like, hey, bro, can you help me out, man? What the hell is this? Joe, he is downstairs and he's crazy. Joe? I know other people can hear her. She's screaming really loud. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Paco. Dude, that boy a ride or die. <laughs> Yo, what? How did he escape? Hide a spare key so he can get out of the goddamn cage. Yo! He said, I'm the main character. I know how to get out. I don't even know how he got out. I know he said he got... Oh! Bro, get her, man. You can't let this girl go, bro. Get her, man. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Get her ass back here. <laughs> yeah, she didn't have none of the right keys. Is it true she worked here? Uh, yeah, it's true. I knew her well. Enjoy the book. She was Damn. I miss you so much. It's been a Yo. weird four months. Four months? Yo, dang, I wanted to see how he did it. I still don't even know how he did it with uh Candace. You wrote the story. Doctor! Doctor! 
You know our friend Peach Salinger was trying to get Beck to stop seeing him? Did that psycho kill Peach too? I received the manuscript in the mail. It was odd, but I had to show it to my literary agent right away. Why is she freaking talking like this? This girl over here talking like she's trying to get an agent or something. Like, make sure y'all follow me. You know, I write too. I helped you become the writer you so wanted to be. But I cobbled that manuscript together from every one of your pieces fit to print. It's sad you're not here to see it. But I know you would be so happy. This dude is insane, bro. I, I hope he gets his karma in season four. Cause like this dude's killed way too many people. Like, yeah, they did bad things, but I don't think that they deserve to die, man. Only person that deserved to die was Ron. And this dude is really just going off the skin of his teeth. He's so lucky. Hello there. You've got that hoodie. You don't like to be stared at. Your legs are bare. You like a little attention. Wait, 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 what? Hey, bunny. No. I think we have some unfinished business to talk about. What? <laughs> Yo, what a cliffhanger. What the hell? Come on. Dang, man. This show is good. Yo, man, if y'all liked my reaction and you like watching this season of You With Me and you cannot wait to watch the next seasons, man, make sure you like the video, share, comment down below, and subscribe. Click that bell, man, so you will get the notifications on when I upload more videos, bro. This show was on point. All right, everybody, and there we go with the first season of You. And if you want to see season two, man, it's all up to you on how fast I bring it out. You know, make sure you like the video i'm like telling you comment down below share subscribe make sure that this video performs really well because if you do that that's you telling me that you want to see season two as soon as possible i mean season four is only coming out in a couple weeks but this show was good I, I really love the performances. The main guy, I keep forgetting how to pronounce his name. He did a really good job. This guy showed us how insane and how much of a psychopath he is. A lot of the side characters did some good jobs as well, uh, but this show, he carried it. And now that we got Candace back, that is a big twist. I will, you can follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down in the description below. And if you would like to see my full length reaction to this season and the future seasons, other TV shows I do, movies I do, you click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. I will go ahead and actually give season one a A minus, man. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are going to disagree with a lot of stuff that I said. This is probably gonna be a controversial video. I think it's crazy that he even got away with the crimes that he did because that was one of the things that I forgot to mention. He did everything in the crime scene where they found the bodies and all the proof. He wasn't wearing any gloves, if I don't remember. So his fingerprints was on everything. When it comes to the private investigator, I hope we're not gonna see him again. I understand that they said that he doesn't really believe the story and he said that it was bullshit. But the thing is, bro, the family hired you to investigate what was going on with their daughter. Now they have an answer, even though it's not the real answer, they have an answer. So there's really no point in you continuing on in this investigation. Shoot, but with all that being said, man, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace.